everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be using some model ones gel polishes to recreate a set of nails that i saw on instagram um so i'm just going to quickly talk you through the colors i have got edelweiss which is a white gel polish if you don't have edelweiss they do do africa white um i've also got rapunzel and gustav which are purple shades purple and lilac um so i'm going to take rapunzel this is oh i love this color i'm not gonna lie i really like like this one it's one of the new newer ones that they sent me um this one rapunzel and um, so what i'm going to do with this color is i am going to apply this to two of the nails and i'm going to do two coats on each nail so the first coat will be cured in the lamp for 30 seconds and then i will do a second coat and cure again for 30 seconds in a uv light um i'm gonna pop the set of nails that i saw um here so you can see they've got oh god it's i love green i absolutely love green um i didn't want to recreate them in the same color though so i thought i'd go for purple tones because you know i do like my purple as well um but it's by a guy called nails by sean on instagram i will leave his instagram information in the description box below so you can go and check out his nails um so yeah so that's the second coat done and cured um i'm gonna leave those for a second and we're gonna work on the next nail i'm gonna use model one's base coat so i'm gonna put a so right do all your nails prep and everything um put your base coat down and cure that blah 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 blah. then we're going to do the design on the top so pretend we've already got our cured base coat on now i'm going to apply another wet coat of base coat you could probably do it in the first coat but i wanted to, i'd probably do it in the second because then we have a little bit of a guard between the natural nail and the glitter so i'm using hippy dippy glitter from nail sugar and on the end of my nail sugar natalie mugridge detailer brush i've just got a little bit of that base coat and what i'm doing is i'm dipping my brush into the hippy dippy glitter and then i am putting it into that wet coat of base coat now we don't want to go i didn't want to cover the nail completely in this because i want the glitter by not putting too much we want enough on but not too much we don't want to overdo it um by not putting too much on we keep that nail nice and flat which is yeah i don't like lumpy bumpy bits as you know <laughs> so that's all i'm gonna put on i'm gonna just just that much and i'm gonna pop that into my lamp to cure for 30 seconds so that the glitter will be nice and stuck cured into that base coat um i'm gonna put some more base coat over this one just to cover the glitter i did i put these in the lamp at the same time and they managed to cure together like that <laughs> so i had to pick them apart which was a bit annoying um so yeah so i'm gonna go over this now with another coat of base coat just to smooth it out a little bit more i'm gonna hold it upside down as well just to make the gel the base coat settle as well um, 30 seconds in the lamp then i'm going to take edelweiss this is the white one normally i would use africa white i don't know edelweiss was a christmas white um i don't know if they've got this in stock at the minute but um africa white i think is one that they seem to have all the time um i'm, I'm not sure but anyway um if you haven't got edelweiss you can use africa white because they're both whites yes okay so again two coats of this again each coat cures in my did I say UV? I'm an LED lamp. I've got an LED lamp, not a UV lamp. Um, for 30 seconds. I had a little bit of little bit of flicking it and I had to get it out with my brush, which is why that video just jumped a little bit there because I cut a little bit of the footage out because I was just picking out fluff out the gel polish. <laughs> right, anyway, when you finished faffing, pop it in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. That's two coats. And now I'm going to go over the top with the Model Ones. I really like this matte top coat. This is not a, some top coats are cloudy. This one is not a cloudy one. When you, if you had a look at the, the top coat in the bottle, it's a clear consistency. Sometimes they are cloudy. The velvet matte top coats that I have, um, you look at them and they are cloudy ones. I don't know if it makes a difference, but just so that you know. Um, so for this, I'm going to use my acetone and an old brush. And I've got my Madame Glam purple ink and pink inks. These are my favoritest inks that I've found that I've used so far. It's the Madame Glam inks. They're my most favorite ones. 
Um, I know you're probably thinking, is there a lot of difference? Actually, I found there is. Um, the yeah, they they're just nice the way they apply, the way they fade out. I just I don't know. I just I just really like my Madame Glam inks over any of the others that I have used. So what I'm doing is I'm using my old brush. Um, you could use any brush. I just choose to use an old one because I'm using acetone and sometimes it tends to, uh, it usually dries out your brushes a bit. So I'm just using this old brush to create my marble with the ink. Um, the good thing about the inks is if you take too much off with the acetone, you can always dab the ink back onto the nail and then work it again, which is, you'll see what I do that in a, in a minute. And so like if you if you're not happy with any particular area, you can always go back in and rework it. If that's is that oh, is that a good way of saying it, rework it. Um yeah, so I'm just trying to create a, a marbled look. I absolutely love inks for this. Dish or nash. So I'm gonna let you watch this. You will see me add a little bit more ink and then carry on playing. But I'm gonna let you watch this and I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, so I'm quite happy with how that looks. I'm gonna leave that like that for now. So I'll put that with the others. Uh, this next now, we're gonna go back to the glittery one. Now I'm using the colors that I used initially. So I've got Gustav, um, Rapunzel and Edelweiss. As I said before, if you don't have Edelweiss, you can use Africa White. I'm gonna put blobs of these on my palette. We're gonna do a marble across this now. Um, so I'm putting the three colours together. A bit too much of the white fell off into the colours. Into the a bit too much white fell off. Doesn't look like it did, but there was a big plot that came off at the end of the brush. So I'm going to just mix it using my dotting tool. We're going to use the uh, Born Pretty Ombre brush to pick up the product. Um, so I'm just mixing it, and I just felt like there was too much white in it. So I went back in with a little bit of the. Uh, dark purple and the the more lilac-y purple and I gave it another quick mix through with my dotting tool or needle tool whatever you want to call it it did I did I did work it a little bit too much because some of that white um it, oh yeah anyway um I'm going over now with another coat of base coat you're probably thinking what but this is gonna act like if you don't have any blooming gel um, I don't have any blooming gel from Model 1, so I'm going to use a wet layer of base coat to act as our blooming gel. Um, I've never done it before, but I know people have done it, and it seems to work just as well. So, that's what I've done here. And the longer you leave it, the, the more likely it is to disperse out. Um, it just helps look. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh! I love it so much. I'm going to pop that into the lamp to cure. And then I'm going to use the matte top coat and we're going to go over all of the nails now. We're going to matte top coat them all. And uh, yeah, and then that is... That we go, 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 go. <laughs> Why do I always do that? I ask you and it's always the same. I don't know. Uh, right, so yeah, we're going over with matte top coat now. The good thing about matte top coat is you don't have to worry about your light lines. So the nail can be a little bit lumpy, like where that marble is. Um, and you won't notice it when in, at the end when I could show you the finished the finished product um, You won't see any lumps and bumps. I'm gonna add some crystals on as well oh, And this is the finished set. I hope you like them. I hope I done mr. Sean proud 
because I bloody love these and I bloody loved his set as well. So if you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I did leave a little bit of gem glue on there. Whoopsie daisies. Um, don't forget to hit that bell button as well if you do subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I didn't post on Friday. I have been slacking a bit. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Love you. Bye.